In this episode, we make our way to Sarasota, Florida to explore the John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art, now known as the Ringling Museum. This 66-acre complex includes the Bayfront Gardens, Cutazon Mansion, as well as a circus and art museum, so stay tuned. The Ringling is a large complex with museums, theaters, gardens, and the mansion of the circus pioneer John Ringling and his wife Mabel. At the John McKay Visitors Pavilion, you can purchase tickets and get information about your visit. The museum store has souvenirs, books, jewelry, and art pieces. Upstairs, you'll find Mabel's Coffee and Tea, serving Starbucks coffee and pastry items. Or head downstairs to the grill room for a sit-down meal. Such a beautiful setting in this area walking through gardens to get to these buildings and such. I think I see a fig tree, a lively oaks with the Spanish moss. Loving it. All the tropical plants that they have laying around, planted. The landscaping is beautiful here. On the grounds, there are four distinct gardens and a millennial tree trail. I would recommend coming to check this place out. So if you only want to see the gardens, it's only $5. So nice little nature walk for you. Um, it's pretty flat. So if you just want to do that, you can do that too. The David F. Bolger Play Space opened on the grounds of the Ringling in 2014. Nestled amongst the banyan trees, the playground invites kids of all ages and abilities to play freely. Mabel's Rose Garden was completed in 1913. There are over 450 rose plants in this 27,000 square foot Italian inspired garden. The Millennium Tree Trail was created to celebrate Mabel's vision of creating an estate with exotic trees and plants. It has bragging rights as having the largest number of banyan trees in Florida. It also has oak, holly, citrus, and magnolia trees. What do you think of all these banyan trees spread throughout the park here? Gorgeous, aren't they? Yes, I love them. They're everywhere here. This building here is the caretaker's cottage. John Ringling was one of five brothers who owned the Ringling Brothers Circus. With his fortune reaching 200 million, John became one of the wealthiest men in America at the time. Another garden area here. 
The Secret Garden was created by Mabel with plants given to her by friends. It is now the final resting place of the couple and Mabel's sister, Ida. See on the bamboo stalks here, people signing their names all over these. And here are the grave sites of John Ringling, Mabel Ringling, and Ida Ringling North. John Ringling developed a fondness for art. He met Mabel Burton, who shares his interests in art, and they married in 1905. In 1911, they bought this waterfront property, and by 1912, the Ringlings began to spend their winters here. Mabel dreamed of a Venetian Gothic-style house that was modeled after the palaces of Venice, Italy. Years later, construction began on this magnificent mansion in 1924, and after $1.5 million, Cutazon was completed in 1926. Cutazon is a Venetian phrase meaning House of John. It's gorgeous. All the neat patterns and colors. This mansion features an eclectic array of architectural styles including Italian Renaissance, Venetian Gothic, Moorish, and Spanish-inspired elements drawn from different European historic periods. Cotizan was not only a winter residence, but also a showplace for entertaining. The first floor consists of principal rooms for entertaining, which include a breakfast room, a lounging room, a reception room, a dining room, and a ballroom. We found the Oak Island treasure, everyone. Just outside the mansion is a food truck and a bathroom. Discover the history of the American Circus here at the Ringling Museum of the American Circus, which was established in 1948. Visitors to the museum will find performing props, wardrobes, and other historic circus items. Here we have the newly restored Wisconsin, which was John and Mabel Ringling's personal railroad car. It was used for traveling across the country to look for feature acts for the circus. The Howard Brothers Circus is a full miniature replica of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey Circus circa 1920. It has more than 42,000 individual pieces, making it the largest miniature circus model in the world.
the model was unveiled at the 1982 World's Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee. It was moved to the Ringling in 2004 and took the creator, Howard Tibble, over a year to complete the setup. This is one bandwagon I would get on. Don't be a chili dog! John Ringling wanted to educate Floridians by sharing European art pieces. He really wanted to make Sarasota a cultural and educational center. So he opened this art museum in 1930. It was designed as a Renaissance style palace with 21 galleries and a beautiful outside courtyard featuring replicas of some of the world's most famous sculptures. Thanks for joining us on this tour of the Ringling Museum. We hope you enjoyed it. Some big snapping turtles there. Hi, Tackles the Squirrel here. Thanks to everyone for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that subscribe button. Take care, everyone.